Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Oh my god, it feels so weird to actually sit down and talk to you guys because I've done so many voiceovers lately. And to be honest, it's just easier for me because of, obviously I work. I, I, I feel like I say this all the time, but it's a huge part of my life. I do work full time on the side. So if you see me do like more voiceovers or less videos, that's the reason. I mean, I do work really, really hard around the clock to try and make sure I have um, lots of content for you guys. But anyways, it feels really weird to be sitting here and talking to you. Before we jump onto the video, as always, we're going to do our post notification shout out. And today's one goes to Kieran underscore X. Thank you so much for leaving a comment. If you want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below. Or you can just leave a nice comment. God, don't you guys hate it when you burn your tongue? Like I drank green tea and I burnt my tongue and I just hate it because I feel like I can't eat food properly for the next few days. Anyways, today we have a really, really exciting video. We're going to be reviewing the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealers and powder, actually. You guys know I absolutely love the foundation. I have a review on it, but I now use Golden. It's just a better match for me. In the review, I used Cardamom, which is a bit more dark. I think that would be more my summer shade. I feel like even this one is a bit, bit darker for me right now. They do oxidize, so just bear that in mind. Now, as I said, I feel like for reviews, I need to try the product a few times before doing a review. I just feel like it just works better and I get to know the product a bit better and I can give a fair review. So I've been wearing this concealer for a few days now, just trying to like play around with it, use it different ways so that I can really let you guys know what are the pros and the cons to it. I mean, first impressions are great, but... I feel like there's so many types of ways you can wear a product and you know I like to wear products a particular way like lately I've, I've not been liking to wear powder on my concealer which is so weird but yeah, let's just let me just get into the video obviously I've got bare face right now I'm gonna pop some moisturizer on I'm just gonna pop some of my NYX professional makeup can't stop won't stop foundation in golden like I said I'll make sure to say it a few times just in case I'm just gonna blend this with my Eco Tools sponge. <laughs> so this foundation, it is quite matte. I think that's a good match. I mean, I'm super pale on my chest. So. Okay, let's now move on to concealer. Now I think, now I sh the shade I've been using, to be honest, is beige which is so weird i've never used a product called beige this is just the color compared to the foundation i know it looks super light but it's very yellow as well i mean i was using neutral tan which is a bit closer to my skin color slightly lighter but it just doesn't it just wasn't doing much for me i'm just going to do a few swatches here so that you guys can see this is why I really like this lighting because it's very true to my skin colour. Normally I've always swatched the whole shade range on my skin but that's no help to you guys. So I'm just going to swatch some colours that are around my skin tone and I think that's like the most beneficial to you. I think there's no point in me having a super pale shade. It's not going to help anyone because it's going to look so different. The contrast is just going to be too big and it's not going to help anyone. So I've got a lot of brown shades and tan shades here that I'm going to show you guys. So starting from the lightest, I'm going to do the Jackie Aina way on my chest. So that is the one I've been using. It's very yellow. Then this is the one that I, I tried but I wasn't too fond. It's very like pinky, like rosy pinky. I don't not too fond of that but this one is like right up my alley because it's very yellow so that was neutral tan 12.7 next one i have golden which is a 13 golden is like the foundation shade i use but it's way for concealer it's literally the same shade as the concealer uh, the foundation i believe yeah it's literally the same color as the foundation so some brands like to some brands like to adjust the concealer to be slightly lighter. So, for example, Fenty made the concealer shades a little lighter, but here they're exactly the same colour, so bear that in mind. Literally the same. So, 14 is Golden Honey. 
I really like the doe foot applicator as well. It's very soft and a bit flimsy, but it makes the application even better. So that's Golden Honey 15 Caramel. Now this one was like really, really dark for me. Not really dark, but... I could use this around my mouth area to be honest. It's very nice and very nice olivey kind of warm colour whilst these ones are very orangey. I don't know if you guys can see this is more olive warm. That's why I like this one because it's more olive-y. They have 24 shades in this. But I just really like the undertones and they have a good even share between all of them like light, medium, tan deep dark shades they've got really nice rich shades in there which is always a plus next one is 15.9 I feel like that's more of a neutral -y color but still more it's quite warm but it's more on the neutral side okay so this one is neutral buff 10.3 which is the one I believe that's below the one I'm using this would be a good shade for like NC40 using the one above so yeah those are all the shades i do feel like they oxidize a bit just like the foundation does just wanted to show you guys the doe foot applicator it's kind of like a triangle shape i don't know so it does look quite light I'm just gonna use my sponge. I feel like that blends so nicely it blends really nice with a finger a sponge a brush like literally is so nice like look at that the shade in the powder which is the can't stop won't stop setting powder is banana comes with a sif like this I kind of just tap it and it comes a lot comes out gonna brush the excess off so here's a slight close-up of the concealer and the powder I'm just gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll tell you guys what I think about the concealer and the powder the first things I want to say about the concealer is that it's really nice coverage amazing shades amazing price it's super affordable it blends really really easily like I said with the brush sponge or finger every day I've been wearing it with I've just been blending it with my finger um, now when I first there he goes again lovely when I set it with powder the first time it it felt really dry like my skin's super dry right now and it's winter I feel like this concealer would be best for me during summer where my skin gets more combination but yeah, it definitely felt more dry. So I was like, okay, let me try this concealer because the concealer is quite dry itself anyways. Um, so I was gonna, I said to myself, let me try the next day without powder. So I just blended it with my finger and walked out the door. And I did realize there was quite a bit of creasing and movement in the concealer, like it went a bit patchy, definitely went creasy and the coverage didn't stay much. So definitely it does need some powder. So when I wore it with powder the third time round, I drenched my face with setting spray especially under my eyes and like honestly it gives this finish and it's so nice I'm really happy with the shade the concealer even the powder is really nice but yeah just if I don't set with something that's moisturizing it's very dry for me like I have to say that if it's quite dry for my skin type if you're oily skin you're gonna love this and the powder the powder is just really nice as well itself and they have quite a few shades like right now it just looks super smooth I'm gonna show you guys super close up 
So I think that's the only issue because when I set with powder, there's no issue creasing or anything like that. I think it's just the dryness for me. Doe fat applicator is really nice as well. So would I recommend this to you guys? Definitely because it's such a nice product. Just bear in mind that if you do have dry skin, like if especially if you have super dry under eyes or maybe like more to eczema side, maybe this product isn't for you. For eight pounds, you know, it can do no harm. I will be right be buying this in my shade. Like I really do like it. The coverage is spot on, and I love the shade. I didn't. The shade is so weird. Like I'm using beige. It might look really light, but it's so perfect. Like I really like the shade of it. Um. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. Those are my thoughts on it. And I feel like I'm going to wear the heck out of this during summertime. Maybe not my type of product in wintertime. And to be honest, you do have to cater products and skincare to your skin during seasons. Like, my skin gets super dry in winter. And then super, like, combination oily in summertime. Okay, so I just did a flash test and there's a slight flashback with the powder, so... Maybe bear that in mind, um, it's very yellow and to be honest I could go darker but I feel like that would um, get rid of the, the um, brightness of my concealer. So I stuck with a banana, it's quite it's quite yellow so bear that in mind. Is Would you call that flashback? I don't know, let me know in the comments guys. But yeah I think that's all I have to say, thank you so much for watching this review and if you want to see more reviews from me let me know and what products you want to see, I've got one exciting one of a brand that I used to use a lot before when I first started my channel and I stopped it because some of their products are just not that good but they've come out with two new products that I was very curious about so if you can guess what the brand is try and guess in the comments below. Anyways I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one.